So guys, today we'll be doing a chart work question. Uh, I hope you, you have been watching my previous videos on chart work. If not, then I'll give you a link to those videos um, in the description section below. I advise you to watch those uh, videos before you watch this because uh, this video will assume that you are familiar with a lot of these terms. All right, otherwise I'll try to explain it quickly as we go along. So let's start with the question here. So today's question says that from 1500 hours, a ship sails at about six knots, steering a course of 230 degrees true. The current is setting at 120 degrees true at a rate of 1.4 knots. Uh, you have to determine by plotting the following. The first one you have to determine is the DR position or the dead reckoning position at 10, 1630 hours. That's one and a half hours from now. Uh, estimated position or EP at about 1630 hours as a result of the current's effect. And the course made good and the speed made good. And that's why I advise you to watch my previous videos on chart work because there I have explained what uh, dead reckoning, estimated position, course made good and speed made good means. Uh, it will be a good idea for you to watch those videos. All right. So let's start with the solution and I'll try to explain the terms again for those of you who are watching this video as the first in the chart work series. So let's summarize the question on the side here. So it says that it's 1500 hours. Uh, ship sails at six knots steering a course of 230 degrees true. So let's assume this is our 1500 position. This is a fixed position. That is, uh, it's an accurately known position. So the fixed positions are denoted by a circle and a dot in the middle. The dot is right on the position of the ship. From 1500 hours, let's sail the ship at about six knots uh, on a course of 230 degrees. So if we are doing six knots, so in one and a half hours, the vessel should have done about uh, nine miles. All right, so you will draw a line 230 degrees in the bearing of 230 degrees and for a distance of nine nautical miles. And you can measure nine nautical miles on your compass and draw it like an arc of a position circle. Uh, that is the course to be steered. All right, and because uh, the ship speed is six knots and it travels about nine nautical miles in one and a half hours, just draw it like an arc of a position circle. Uh, the arc and the course to steer line, wherever they intersect, that is the dead reckoning position denoted by a cross or a plus sign. All right. Now, uh, also given to you in the question was that a current is setting 120 degrees true at a rate of 1.4 knots. And you have to determine the estimated position, which takes into account the effect of the current. So it is more accurate than the dead reckoning position. And uh, as a result of the current and you have to find the course made good and speed made good. All right. Now, if the current speed is 1.4 knots an hour in one and a half hours, the rate of the current will result in a drift of about 2.1 nautical miles. All right. So it's 1.4 knots per hour. So in one and a half hours, the current would result in a drift of 2.1 nautical miles. So let's draw the current here. So the current has been drawn in the direction of 120 degrees true. So current is always drawn pointing towards the direction where it is going. So the three arrows denote the direction of the current and they are always drawn towards the direction in which the current is going to. All right, you will draw it for a distance of 2.1 nautical miles because we are making this triangle or these vectors are all for about one and a half hours. All right, so not for one hour, but one and a half hours. So if we say that the time of steaming was one and a half hours based on the current's rate, which is the current speed per hour, the drift is 2.1 nautical miles. So at the end of 2.1 nautical miles, you will then join the estimated position that you see. So the, the, uh, the, at the end of the 2.1 nautical miles on your current vector is your estimated position. Estimated position is denoted by a fish triangle with a circle in the middle. And uh, that is more accurate than the dead reckoning position because it takes into account the effect of current. Now from the fish triangle, join the 1500 position and that will give you the course made good and the speed made good in the last one and a half hours. Now course made good in this case becomes 216 degrees true. So that means that although you intended to steer the vessel on a course of 230 degrees true, because of the effect of current, your vessel actually steered a course of 216 degrees. Now remember here we have not counteracted for the current. We'll do that in my next video. Here we are just taking into account the effect of the current. All right, so the resultant course that your vessel made good is 216 degrees true instead of 230 degrees true. The course to steer is denoted by a single arrow and course made good is denoted by double arrows. 
all right so in this case this becomes distance covered in this case and i have worked it out separately is about 8.5 nautical miles but in the time of one and a half hours so the resultant speed made good is then not six knots but 5.7 knots per hour so the resultant speed made good of the ship because of the effect of current is 5.7 nautical miles because you did 8.5 nautical miles in one and a half hours you should have done about nine nautical miles if you were going at the original speed of six knots but you didn't you made good a speed of 8.5 nautical miles but that was in one and a half hours and the ship's speed in one hour would there be 5.7 nautical miles knots so all you have to do is just divide 8.5 by 1.5 you will get the answer all right so this is only taking into effect the account the effect of the current now let's understand how the effect of the wind is also taken into account so i'll just show you through animations how this the, this is actually how the vessel proceeded so the vessel did not proceed on its original course as intended and did not reach the dead reckoning position but it reached the estimated position because it was affected by the current so the vector triangle is for one and a half hours remember everything was taken into account for one and a half hours so you can't take one for one one side of the triangle for one hour and the other two for one and a half hours or vice versa you have to draw everything for one and a half hours because the vessel steaming time was one and a half hours the current that you draw and the speed made good and the course made good that you calculate is all for one and a half hours you have to remember this you have to keep your vector triangle constant if it is for one hour all right that's fine but if the question dictates that you have to draw it for one and a half hours or some other hours that's what you have to do let's take into account another example here and this example is talking about estimated position 1 and estimated position 2 these are those positions when leeway and the currents set that is the direction of the current are both present so when you have to take into account the effect of the wind and the current remember always allow for the leeway so the way i was taught when i was a cadet was allow and leeway these are this l is very prominent so when you are allowing for you must allow for the leeway first and then the current but when you counteract i'll show you what happens then all right so when you allow for it always allow for the effect of the wind that is leeway first and then allow for the effect of the current and this gives you two estimated positions which are known as ep1 and ep2 so ep1 is a result of the effect of wind and ep2 will be the position of the vessel due to the effect of the current so let me show you how this all works together and this question so we take the similar example we take the same question again we know the accurately known position of the vessel at about 1500 hours the vessel was intending to go on a course of 230 degrees true for one and a half hours at uh, 6 nautical miles per hour so again you will do the same thing you will draw the course of 230 degrees true you will draw 9 nautical miles because that would be the uh, estimated speed of the vessel in the next one and a half hours based on the fact that it's doing 6 knots per hour all right and then at the end of the nautical mile uh, 9 nautical miles you will draw a plus sign which will give you the dead reckoning position that's the dr position but first we have to also take into account now after the dead reckoning position you have to take into account the current and the leeway but like i said if there is both current and leeway we must account for leeway first now in this case there is a northwesterly wind causing a leeway of 10 degrees so that means it's coming from the uh let's say from the top of the screen so it's pushing the vessel towards the bottom of the screen or right? towards the right hand corner of the screen so that's why when the north is still north westerly wind is coming the vessel is being pushed to the right of the screen so that's why the 10 degrees course has been drawn uh towards the right of the screen if i can explain it right so always allow for the leeway first so 10 degrees pushes your vessel uh on the left of uh, 230 which will be 220 so the resultant course then becomes 220 you draw 9 nautical miles again and that becomes your estimated position 1 from estimated position 1 draw the current direction or the set of the current it will be drawn similar to the previous one where you draw it towards 120 degrees because that's where the current is going to currents are always drawn in a direction where they are going to the three arrows will be pointing towards the direction of the current draw it and the drift of the current will again be 2.1 nautical miles based on the fact that its rate is 1.4 knots per hour all right once you draw it for 2.1 nautical miles join the 1500 position to the fish triangle which is ep2 at 1630 and then that will give you your course made good 
as well as your speed made good for the last one and a half hours. So you can measure this distance and then divide it by 1.5 not, uh, not 1.5 hours that's right and it will give you the speed made good of the vessel in an hourly rate. All right. If you measure the whole distance, that will be this distance covered in last one and a half hours. That will not be the speed of the vessel in one hour, as we saw in the previous slides. All right. The vector triangle will again be for one and a half hours in this case and not more or less. All right. Because everything was assumed for a steaming time of one and a half hours. So, guys, I hope this video was useful to you to understand the concept of course made good and speed made good and allowing for the effect of wind as well as leeway. Uh, how does the dead reckoning position and estimate position one and estimate position two is explained. And in my next video, I'll show you how to counteract for this effect of wind and current uh, to steer the course intended. I'll see you soon with my next video, guys. All the best with your studies and I look forward to your feedback. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.